Hi, my name is Mabel Garcia. I'm an attorney at New York Legal Assistance Group. We've known it's been a tough time with the looming eviction crisis coming upon us. Recently, you might have received or will soon receive a hardship declaration from the court. So we wanted to make this video to briefly explain what it is and what protections it may afford you. On December 28, 2020, Governor Cuomo signed into law the Emergency Eviction and Foreclosure Prevention Act. This new law paused most eviction proceedings until February 26. It gave an opportunity for the court to mail out the hardship declaration and for the tenants to either return it back to the landlord or to the court. If the form is submitted by February 26, it further pauses the eviction proceedings until at least May 1st. In order to enjoy the protections of the hardship declaration form, you must either one, experience financial hardship, or two, you can't relocate because relocating poses a significant health risk because of the COVID-19 pandemic. In which box do I check off? Box A is for financial hardship. If your household income has decreased or you've reduced your hours or you lost your job because you have to go home and take care of your kids or take care of a family member, you check box A. If you can't relocate because you don't have enough money, you check box A. If you can't find a job because of the pandemic, you check box A. You can check box B if you have an underlying condition and relocating exposes you to COVID and it poses a severe health risk. Once I submit the form to my landlord, you don't have to submit it to the landlord, but we recommend you do so. We recommend you submit it to the landlord and to the court. And if you submit it to either party, the landlord or the court, please send it certified mail. That way you have proof that the form was actually submitted. If you submit it electronically, the email or the confirmation number you received is proof that the form was actually submitted. If I don't have a current housing court case against me, can I still submit the hardship declaration? The answer is yes. You can submit the hardship declaration to your landlord, not to the court. If you submit the form to your landlord, he is forbidden from starting an eviction proceeding against you until at least May 1st. I have a housing court case. Do I need to submit this hardship declaration form? This is where you really want to submit this hardship declaration form. This is where it could really help you, buy you some time, stay proceedings until at least May 1st. Am I still required to pay my rent? We know it's a tough time for many people, but right now, legally, you're still required to pay your rent. Do these protections apply to undocumented people? Immigrants have been essential in our well-being during this COVID-19 pandemic. So the good news is, yes, these protections apply to anyone regardless their immigration status. There are three ways to submit the hardship declaration form. Number one, you can mail it back to the court or to your landlord. Number two, you could submit it via email. Or number three, you could go to evictionfreeny.org. There you could submit the form electronically. We know these are difficult times and NILAG is here for you. If you have any questions regarding your rights as a tenant, please visit our website or call our legal hotline. Our services are free and confidential.